Right, I'm going to test this drill to see if there's anything electrically wrong with it. I ain't never done one of these before, so usually that nose cone comes off in one piece. Well, this one's a solid split for some reason. I've already took most of the screws out, there's only two left. I'll just take this front cap off as well, just pull that forward. Pull the rubber off. Should come free with a little washer inside. That should be it. Yep. So I'll test the cables first. So the cables have continuity. I'll just check the switch. That's the neutral side. This is the live side. So the switch is working. So it doesn't look like there's anything electrical going on here. We've still got it on ohms and we're going to check the coil readings. Both of them are 0 0.3, 0 0.4, so everything's fine on that. I think that might be a capacitor, I'll just check that in a minute. So the cable's are fine, the switch is fine, calls are fine. I'll check the points as well and the capacitor. Right, and so I've just got this meter which reads capacitance. I've set it to capacitance obviously, and I've read across it saying 20 nano farad so you'd have to take that off to find out what the actual reading is but as long as it ain't short circuited it should be all right saying 4.9 man struggling to read now but It ain't shorted, that's the main thing. To take these points out, it's a bit difficult than most machines. It's got that little bearing cap. Push the uh, brushes out, you can check the side as well. You may as well, when you're doing that, change that bearing as well. Next thing I've got to strip that gearbox out but I haven't never done one before so I'll have a practice first. But as you can see the electrics are easy to test. I've never done one of these before where it comes out so I'll do it. That's it for now. Just build it back up and then uh, I'll do the gearbox tomorrow.